Okay, this is part two of the loaded envelope. It has dried now. Um, and so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find the center of your envelope. And you also want to decide where do you want your, your fold. So just trying to figure out here. I don't want a huge fold. I think I'm just going to do, I want that orange to show. Okay, so if you have a scoreboard, now's the time to get it out. So I, because this is nine inches, I want it to go up about three inches. So I'm going to score it on the six inch line. And I'm going to go ahead and score it on the back. My cardstock is very tough. Okay, so there is my pocket. In hindsight, I probably would have done it two and a half just because I didn't want it up quite that far on my flower, but it's fine. It'll work just fine the way it is. I'm just trying to line it up. I've been a little bit crooked there. All right. There we go. So once we adhere these sides, you're going to have a pocket right here. Now I want to cut down the center here. So it's six inches wide, so I want to cut right on the three inch mark. And I'm going down about two inches. There's no real rhyme or reason. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit deeper because I want a little bit farther. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and roll my edges. You can find a pencil, you can find a paintbrush, you can find just about anything. I'm going to use this because I want a large roll when I do this. And what you want to do is make sure this point stays in the same spot when you roll, um, otherwise it's going to tear. And I'm just going to roll this down. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. All right. The last thing step to do is to go ahead and glue down your edges. And I like to put some clips on there until this wet glue dries completely. So I'm going to go ahead and put my clips on. The loaded envelope.